Hello and uh, welcome uh, to our uh, look at what's going on with OPEC uh, and the meeting that's taking place. We've got an OPEC meeting on uh, April 28th. Now the technical committee has just, uh, they've just finished up their um, video conference. Um, they're saying uh, that they see um, demand up 6 million barrels per day in 2021. Uh, they think that the uh, stock surplus will uh, have, will be zero will have uh, will have gone by the end of Q2, and they see uh, stocks sliding by 1.2 million uh, barrels uh, per day. So in for the rest of the year. So um, the JTC um, looks to be uh, not rocking the boat. As I say, um, they see demand up at six million barrels. And I remember this meeting um, probably should be a non-event. Alexander Novak uh, pretty much said that. He said uh, uh, that. Um, OPEC will essentially, there might be tweaking of some plans, but nothing major at this meeting. Uh, it's already committed to increasing output by 350,000 barrels per day through May and then June, and then 400,000 barrels um, or by July. So these plans for the for May, June, July have already been set. So we don't expect an awful lot from this meeting, and the JTC so far has not really provided any um uh, evidence to the contrary. Now, the one thing that we do need to look at, though, and as, as the JTC expressed concern about rising cases in in, in India as well as Brazil and uh, Japan, is this situation in India decline in um, in activity there, and economic activity, sharp rising cases, uh, is a worry for the oil markets. Uh, India is a top importer of uh, crude oil, of course, as is Japan. Uh, and so they're very important to uh, to the market. So we need to keep our eyes on that. But there has been good news uh, with news that fully vaccinated Americans will be able to travel to the European Union this year. So hopes of some uh, uh, clawback and some recovery in the transatlantic uh, uh, travel industry. And that is, uh, uh, of course, a re re relatively uh, important one as well. Um, so crude oil futures uh, just trading um, a bit higher now having uh, touched lows earlier so um, WTI uh, bouncing after the JTC uh, finished up uh, so maybe some uh, some uh, bullishness is creeping in uh, ahead of the full OPEC meeting this week. So that's your update there for you. There, there shouldn't be too much uh, to fret about uh, over the next couple of days with regards to OPEC. They seem to have set the course for May, June Ju and July, but as ever, we will try and keep you posted of any developments. So that's it for me for the moment. Thanks for watching.